Hey folks, welcome to Concept and welcome back to yet another video. This video is for beginners who are getting started in option trading. So in this video, we will learn how to calculate option premium for any strike price. So let's start this video by understanding what is strike price. So what are options? So you know options are uh, derivative instruments that will give call option buyer right to buy and put option buyer right to sell to buy or sell the underlying asset. Okay at a predetermined price at a predetermined price on a predetermined future date so that predetermined price okay that predetermined price is known as strike price okay what is strike price the price at which you will buy or sell if you have a call option you will buy if you have a put option you will sell at which you will buy or sell the underlying asset okay as simple as it gets now when we talk about options so there is premium right there is premium involved so what is this premium for so for buyer this premium is more like the cost he is paying for that comfort right so what does option buyer have option buyer has a right and option seller has an obligation so this is the premium what is charged to buyer that is because he is having a leverage what is the leverage so leverage out here is to buy or not to buy or to sell or not to sell to have the right that is the leverage right that is the comfort so to get that comfort buyer pays the premium right and seller receives the premium so that means if nothing happens seller will still receive that premium right regardless of everything so the idea is that premium is something that is the cost of comfort that buyer is having and seller receives it because the seller is giving that cost of comfort to buyer, right? Seller is giving that comfort to buyer. That is the reason seller is charging money from the buyer for that comfort. Okay, so and that is premium basically. So now let's learn how to calculate this premium. So if I just show you how a typically option contract will work. So if you just go to option chain, select your desired FNO instrument from here. Over here, you will get to see uh, the strike prices which we just now discussed so what does this mean let's understand quickly let's say you buy a 2500 strike price call option right when you buy 2500 strike price call option doesn't matter what happens in the future that means what happens on 25th of jan by future i mean aage aane wala date, the tense wala future so if you look at or uh, you know whatever happens on 25th of jan it doesn't matter you will go ahead and buy reliance shares at 2500 that too if you you know if the contract favors you you can go ahead and buy it elsewhere you don't so if you want to you can if you don't want to you do okay this is what call option tells you what does put option tells you put option tells you that if you go ahead and buy a reliance 2600 put option by paying 75 rupees premium that will give you a right to sell the reliance shares at 2600 doesn't matter what happens uh, on 25th of jan still you will go ahead and sell the shares at 2600 and yes that's how call and put option will show us and this is what the strike price will tell us now coming to the calculation part so an option premium will have two values first thing is uh, notional profit okay and another thing is time value. Okay, so for every passing day, option buyer holds and premium. There is certain amount which is going to get decayed from the option, which is called as time value. Other than that, uh, in an option premium, there is also volatility that affects the option premium, and also the rate of change of interest that affects the option premium. But as of now, uh, just understand that there are two values. One, the first one is notional profit. The other one is time value so now to understand it let's say if i buy 2500 strike price call option where the current market price is the current market price is at 2550 so if i am buying this contract if i am entering this contract i already have some notional profit this option already has some notional profit right why does it have some notional profit because something which is available expensive which is at 2555 this 2500 strike price call option it is giving us a right to buy it 55 rupees cheaper or 55 rupees less expensive so that is why it has notional profit 
How much is the notional profit? Of oh, 55 rupees. Right? How do I calculate that? The spot price, okay, 2555 minus the strike price. So for call option, the formula is very simple. Okay, so it is called as intrinsic value. Okay, what is intrinsic value? The value attached to the option because of the stock's price. Okay, so how do you calculate it for call option? So for call option, you calculate it by spot, okay, spot price minus the strike price. Okay, so in this case, it was spot minus strike. Okay, this minus this or whatever the strike price is and you will get the intrinsic value. Okay. Second thing, coming to the put side. Okay. Put would be completely opposite of it. Full down. Strike price. Okay. Let's say strike price minus the spot price. Now, why does this happen? Why does this happen? Because obviously the put option will give you the right to sell it. So you need to deduct it, right? You are going to sell uh, the contract. You will you are going to sell the underlying, right? That is the reason. So out here, if you just look at this. What does this thing tell? 2600, okay, minus 2555. 45 rupees is the intrinsic value in this option, right? This is how it is. But now the premium is 73 rupees for this and for this as well, the premium is roughly around 81 rupees. Why is that happening? Because there is another value which is an option premium, which is called as time value, right? This is time value. So why it is happening? The premium is because of time value, it has three different components. First is time, obviously. Another is volatility. Okay. And the interest rate. So do you need to go ahead and calculate it individually? No. The markets are efficient. They will do it for you. You don't need to go ahead and do anything manually out here. Right. This is just to understand the concept that whatever we are trading, how it is calculated. How it is calculated and what does it involve. So now... Uh, this is how uh, you know the option premiums are calculated. One more thing is that intrinsic value will be the only value left in the option premium after the expiry or on the expiry, right? The out of the money options, the options which do not have any intrinsic value, they will turn zero, you know, uh, when we head towards the expiry. If I just go to what if, right? So this will show us how much. Uh, our option premium would be putting around considering the days, time and IV effect. Okay. So let's say I am holding this option till expiry. So 19th or till 19 days from here. See, it is showing us that all these options which do not have any intrinsic value, those will turn to zero. So time value will fade away from the option premium as we head towards expiry. Only the intrinsic value left in the option, okay, only that will remain. Rest everything will become zero. Okay. So over here time value okay first thing of time value it fades away okay on the expiry only options with intrinsic value will have premium rest will Turn zero. Okay. So options with intrinsic value, okay, be it call or put, are I in the money options. Okay. Options with no intrinsic value. So there would be options which only have extrinsic value. Those would be out of the money. Okay. And the strike, okay the option or the strike, whatever you call it, option closest to spot is equal to add the money because that is where the price is quoting right now. So now to move ahead, okay, last thing is that premium cannot be negative, right? And also intrinsic value can't be negative, right? And uh, yes, folks, that uh, summarizes the entire thing. And if you want to learn to calculate uh, option premium for your strike price, this is how it should be. And this is the you know sheet that you should keep along with you. If you want, you can take a 
screenshot of it by pausing the video and i would say that was it from my side thank you so much for joining me up till here bye bye take care and happy trading